May community call and announcement video. This is a huge community call video, and um, as we are announcing the future of WitNet right here, right now, we are prepared to make history with you in this video. So this video actually came after the community call, which was earlier today. If you're watching this now, you probably missed the community call. Um, as always, there's going to be a written up uh, blog on our Medium, where you can take a look at everything we discussed if you want a more uh, complex right rundown. And of course, we will also have an announcement article posted about everything that we've discussed uh, in this community call. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments or move over to our Discord or Telegram and we will get you sorted out. Um, the structure of this is that we're going to be running over uh, the month of May before we actually get into the announcements. Without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, May was a volatile month for our listed protocols on DeFi Llama. It started to drop towards the end as a problem happened with the Kava chain and some of the multi-chain assets that were bridged there. Uh, a lot of the value that Witness is securing is on Kava, so we saw a slight decline to about 185 million total value secured. Uh, we expect the Kava chain to fix the problems they faced along with the multi-chain bridge and we should see an increase back to the t, uh, to total value secure that we were seeing uh, earlier in April and March. So we expect that to be that back um, up in June and July, back to the $250, $300 million range. And of course, we're adding some extra protocols that we'll discuss a little bit later. Next up, MyWit Wallet Private Beta. MyWit Wallet was a massive, succe massive success for the private beta and the public desktop release. We had a total of 55 whitelisted users, and all of them downloaded the app for Android. Thank you for everyone who participated. Uh, we expect a full public release on the um, Android Play Store in the coming weeks, along with an iPhone App Store release shortly thereafter. Thank you for all the love on Telegram and Discord. Uh, the WitNet development community is incredibly happy to see that it's, everyone is enjoying the re release. And of course, we post a few um, <clears throat> reviews from our community members that were really happy with the wallet. So thank you guys for um, giving us some love. And then on the right is actually some pictures if you haven't yet seen the, uh, the app. So next up, new chain integrations that we added in the month of May. These include Arbitrum 1, Fuse, Spark, Testnet, and Metis Girly. Um, we already have developers asking for uh, the suite of different products that Win offers on each of these chains, so we're really bullish on all of these chains. Arbitrum 1 is receiving ETH USD feeds, Fuse is getting BNB, BTC, ETH, Fuse, Matic to USDT and USD respectively. Uh, Metis is getting BTC, ETH, Metis and USDT to USD and USDT respectively. Next up, upcoming chains that we expect to see in the next uh, month. We are looking to go live on Gnosis, Boba BNB, which is a uh, Boba L uh, layer 2 for the BNB chain, Nautilus, and Phantom. Which chains should we consider adding? We're asking, we're opening that up to you guys now. Let us know in the comments down below. Excuse me, sorry about that. New protocols being ad added to DeFi Llama. So these protocols that will be added to our DeFi Llama to reflect that WitNet is securing them. We showed almost these exact protocols last community call, but um, we've done everything we can. It's not it's now out of our hands, and the DeFi Llama team has to actually merge the pull requests on GitHub, um, and the protocols will, will then showcase on our page. So we estimate the total value secured to be around nine million, um, but it's also important to remember how total value locked reflects on our page because just because these we have these protocols here in the slideshow doesn't mean that we're securing all of the on-chain value. So first up is Filda, with about 15.5 million locked, and we can expect about two or three million to be secured by WitNet. Oolong Swap, we are actually securing that entire protocol on Boba. Ultron Swap, we're also securing that entire protocol, so it's about 4.5 million. Annex Finance, I believe we're securing about two million uh, on Kronos. Next up. Uh, statistics that are bullish, so statistics to show that the WitNet community has grown. Uh, these are personally my favorite uh, because it shows a lot of interest and engagement with the actual project. First up, so we have statistics, so the left there is Discord, uh, Discord growth. We're seeing 
just all time highs of members. Um, <clears throat> it, we've never seen our Discord member growth this high. Um, we're actually at 1. 1,500, but that chart doesn't reflect all of the users who, who use um, open source Discord tools that don't actually account for um, their membership. To the right is Telegram. Telegram is also at an all-time high with about 1,540 to 1,550 members. And then, of course, the, uh, the Bitcoin had a fantastic month of May near a new um, all-time high in the last year. Um, we don't typically, typically like to talk about uh, price, but um, it's an incredib incredible thing to see everything, all the charts up and to the right. Next up, we want to do a little um, showcase on WitNet tweets, some uh, cool influencers that are talking about uh, the Witcoin and WitNet. So uh, thank you guys for kind of helping engage the project. Everybody, please keep doing that. Um, community engagement on t Twitter, Telegram, and Discord, and Reddit are the um, some of the most deciding factors that Tier 1 exchanges look for. So please continue to engage with the project. Next up will be questions, but of course, this isn't a live broadcast, so if you have any questions, you're writing them in the comments or our Discord or Telegram. Next up, we have the announcements. It is now time to make history with these very important announcements that we think you will all love. Please ask questions in the comments down below and we will get you answered. Uh, first up, the new exchange listing that will be announced or that is announced now that will be uh, begin trading on May 29th, 2023, which is two days from now, excuse me, three days. Um, <coughs> we're very proud to announce that we'll be listing on BitMart. BitMart is a very reputable exchange that has published proof of funds on certified. Uh, they have $500 million in daily uh, trading volume with 6.3 million users uh, a month. More importantly, something that I'm, I'm very excited about, they are the first exchange that allows U.S. customers and other North American countries uh, the ability to trade WIT. This opens up the door for a new wave of liquidity and capital, which is huge. Bitmart will also help us get listed on other large exchanges uh, with reputable, um, with good reputation, excuse me. So we're very happy about that. Trading begins May 29th, deposits begin Saturday, May 27th, and withdrawals begin May 30th. Tuesday. Okay, next month we also are uh, considering another exchange, um, but um, we will know a little bit more in June, so we don't want to jump the gun on that. So, we will now move on to the biggest announcements there is. Please remember, um, we are still exploring all options. Some of these announcements that I make today might change and some might not. Uh, we're still exploring everything to ensure the protocol will be as strong as possible after these changes are put into place. Some of you might have questions that we simply cannot or will not answer in the early stages because we are trying to ensure that we do not have to walk anything back later on um, that we previously said. We're trying to announce everything in a respectful way to all community members. Is it? Let's get into it. Witnet will transition to proof of stake consensus mechanism away from its current uh, random proof of eligibility. This means that Witnet will be the first ever proof of stake oracle in the world, and this uh, groundbreaking model will be implemented hopefully in quarter three, if not quor uh, quarter four of this year. 
WitNet will continue its permissionless nature and let anyone stake on a node. This means that uh, Wit owned now will most likely be eligible for staking once we roll out 2.0. Uh, additionally, staking as a service, wallet staking, cloud staking, and pool staking uh, will be eligible at some point. Proof of stake is a powerful consensus mechanism for an oracle because it will benefit true ec uh, crypto economic incentive and security of the WitNet and the protocol WitNet serves. Proof of stake can scale better in the long term uh, for an oracle like WitNet. Uh, next up, we have the tokenomics updates. So, simply put, we will be updating our tokenomics to scale the security of the protocol and along with proof of stake. This can include buybacks, burning, changing inflation rewards, halvings, and block periods. Uh, there's a lot of cards on the table, and uh, the good thing about the tokenomics is that if, if it's supported via TAPI, it can be rolled out um, essentially uh, instantly, uh, and we can begin changing things almost instantly. So. Tokenomics uh, greatly s helps to scale WitNet and secure high-value protocols. Um, and any forward-thinking change in the tokenomics makes a very positive impact on proof-of-stake uh, with low-cost hardware and highly distributed systems like WitNet. Next up is the decentralized bridge. So uh, this would be another way for nodes on WitNet to earn any coin they are bullish on. Um, this would be the final step in the WitNet decentralization. So it basically allows WitNet to communicate with any uh, side chain or layer one or layer two uh, to pass data requests back and forth and uh, secure those data requests. Um, of course, any, any user can run a node, secure the network, and earn rewards in any chain coin they want. So uh, WitNet is fully decentralized right now, but the bridge still remains a central point of failure in order to achieve the technological mission of WitNet. The bridge must be fully decentralized, tamper-proof, and resistant to attack. Um, and then finally, some other changes, of course, making Sheikah Wallet lighter, scaling Oracle queries by speeding up the resolution of uh, tally settlements, keeping them in the same block. Of course, we're going to be announcing a full roadmap early in June. And uh, other changes that we've been talking about for quite some time is scripting languages on WitNet, like multi-signature payments, conditional payments, um, which really help with uh, functionality and um, make securing your wit a lot easier and more fun. Thank you to everyone for joining this community call. Uh, cheers to 2.0. Once again, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below.